Why do we need to keep our gas masks on at all times? Is that... is that French? Can we get a translator? The King's English. No need for translation, sir. I can speak it well enough. Good. My name is Dr. Raymond Ham, and I... Ah, a doctor. A like-minded individual, no doubt. Wherein is your speciality, sir? Cryptobiology. Why? <laughs> a medical man such as myself. Wonders abound. And here, I worried I had been abducted by common street thugs. This place, then, this is your laboratory. I had wondered, as clean as it is, and with such little trace of the pestilence here. The pestilence? What do you mean? The scourge. The great dying. Come now. You know the... Mm, what is it they call it? The... The... Ah, no matter. The pestilence, yes. It abounds outside these walls, you know. So many have succumbed, and many more will continue to, until such time as a perfect cure can be developed. Fortunately, I am very close. It is my duty in life to rid the world of it, you see. The cure to end all cures. When you say the great dying, are you talking about the bubonic plague? I don't know what that is. Well, I see. Right, well, the entities our agents encountered at the house, they were dead when you encountered them. Yes, you reanimated them. Hmm. In a manner of speaking, you see things too simply, Doctor. Expand your horizons. Life and death. Sickness and health. These are amateur terms for amateur physicians. There is only one ailment that exists in the world of men, and that is the pestilence and nothing else. Make no mistake, they were very ill. All of them. You think you cured those people? Indeed. My cure is most effective. The things we recovered were not human. Yes, well, it is not a perfect cure, but that will come with time and further experimentation. I have spent a lifetime developing my methods, Dr. Ham, and will spend a lifetime more if necessary. Now, we have wasted too much time. There is work to do. I will require a laboratory of my own, one where I can continue my research unimpeded. And assistance, of course, though I can provide those on my own in time. <laughs> Anybody else wish they were on a cruise to the Bahamas right now? Great news! We'll do another test run with the prototype tomorrow at... Eh, 9 o'clock? Does that sound practical to you? The new D-Class personnel just got transferred today. And I have to make schedules for all 40 of them. I'm going to be busy all week. <laughs> Your face isn't practical. Which reminds me, we have to get ready for the warden's speech in about an hour. 
I don't want to go. What's wrong now? The D-Class always try and stab me. This ain't New York last time I checked. Yeah, well maybe you should stop telling the six foot nine Tyrone that you did his mom last night. Maybe we should stop transferring six foot nine Tyrones with our D-Class, James. We can't do that, Jack, or we'll always have 39 Class Ds instead of 40. There's always a six foot nine Tyrone in every Class D group. Why is there always a six foot nine Tyrone with our D-Class group, James? I don't know, Jack. You could try being nice to the six foot nine Tyrones, and maybe they'll stop shanking you. Hey, yo, yo, I, I got a secret to tell you. My name is Tyrone. I'm six foot nine. And I'm in jail. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> I know, I checked. All the lights are flipping on and off, and there's low tension, but it's not working. <coughs> <clears throat> Figures. Who is this? And where is Terry? <coughs> <coughs> you don't want to know. <clears throat> and I got here on Saturday. You probably arrived the day he was picking for the other team. He also asked me to test the core access just now. From what I heard, Takio went missing, and we need to turn off the power in that wing to access the core and get out of here. Well, I do have a radio. Terry. Terry, do you copy? Just met with Matthew, Eric, and, um, what's your name, fella? Saturday. Who? <laughs> Dr. McGinney, Dr. Ryman, and Dr. Brigman, please report status. Come on, I'm in a hurry. Everybody hang on, this will just take a sec. Agent Shinner, Agent... Turn Allen, off the alarm! Sergeant Fleistag, report to administration immediately. Okay, yeah, got it. Sure, see you soon. Ready? Yep. Hit it, Ellis! Atomic device. Activated. Run! <laughs> Good luck! Thanks! What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy Seas and I've been involved in numerous secret fans. Marcus. He hasn't come out yet? Don't know. Man, I wouldn't want to be him. I don't think he can come out if he doesn't have results. And why aren't we helping? We are. Our job is to make sure nothing gets in or out of these elevators. Right. My name's Tyrone. I'm six foot nine. I'm in jail. Ain't that right, Tyrone? Yeah, yeah. Your brother, Reach brother, please. Anyway, uh, my name is Tyrone. Six foot nine. Uh, he said earlier. I'm about. I'm in jail. Six foot nine and I need to stay on. Six foot nine. Hey man, I'm in jail. You son of a. Hey, anyone else notice the lip? Good. I'm Tyrone and I'm in jail. Six foot nine. Name. Yeah, man. So, how was work? I'm knackered, so pretend I just said something inspiring.
Bloody hell, you're kind of scary, you know that. I don't know who's more of a monster, you or the Zeds. Really? Yeah? It's for you. Hello there, you big bastard. Now what seems to be the problem? Code Grey. Негодяй, гады, иди сюда, ты говно! Жопа! This is what happens when nerds run the world. What is going on out there? Check it. I remember the one with the gun. What? Nothing. Oh shit! Jesus Christ! Ah! Target acquired. Fuck him up! Get out of the way! The clip's empty, man. Reload. I think I hit him! Is he dead? Did we get him? You alright? Yes. Looks like we'll be getting that raise, huh boys? Yo, Yo, man, he does it. Come on, Can man. you believe this, mm -hmm. man? Nah, dude. Star Trek, wait, no. You all have 30 seconds to surrender. You are ready to be broken, unconscious, or dead. I know you see yourself as martyrs, for your self-righteous and frankly ridiculous cause. But I promise that I will make you Darwin Award winners instead. The choice is yours. We're detonating the Alpha Warheads in T-minus 90 seconds. All personnel are advised to board the nearest helicopter or enter the nearest blast shelter immediately. Very well. Your friends will be notified. I can't see! What the hell is that? Music?
Strange. For someone who's made out of the flesh of a god, your immune system is pretty poor. The hell? What was that? You heard what's going on. There's this uh, strange disease running down here. So you know. Who's that? Bullshit. <coughs> well, I'll give you a fighting chance. After that, I will personally fund your funeral, and your family will be notified. Make your move. <laughs> Figures. clean that shit. Me? Why me? You clean it. Hell no. You clean it. No. Son of a bitch.